All right, so let's just talk briefly here about using the mail, people, and calendar applications. If you are using a Microsoft account, you're going to get the simplest and probably easiest experience. Using a Microsoft account, uh, especially if you are using your Microsoft account for your email, like I am here, my personal email is an at outlook.com email address. So that means when I sign into Windows 10, I'm automatically signed into my Outlook calendar, my Outlook mail, and then also all of my contacts are synced into the People application because all of my contacts are up in the cloud with Outlook.com. So that's going to be the easiest way to get that kind of experience. Uh, however, you do not have to use an Outlook.com uh, email address. You can use any type of email address that you might be more familiar with. So let's take a look down here in the mail app at how you would do that. So if we press the settings cog here, we can see the different accounts. So I can go ahead and add an account if I would like to. So I could add a Gmail account, Yahoo account, iCloud account, another Pop or IMAP account, or an Exchange account. So all of that is available. If you need to do something more advanced, with very specific settings in order to be able to sync your mail. Perhaps if you have an internet-based uh, you know, or domain-based email address, you may want to go ahead and use these settings here to set that up. Now within the mail app, you do have some settings. Let's take a look at those real quick here. So under the reading settings, you have an auto open for the next item, which essentially means if I were to delete this email or archive it, it would automatically be taken to the next email in the list. Now we could also say not to mark an item as read automatically. Um, so if you want to have manual control over that, you have that option. And then just like the traditional Outlook application with Office 365, you can say that a, mail, uh, a piece of mail needs to be open for a specific number of seconds before it will automatically be marked as read. So there are some nice options for you there. And then in addition, you do have some additional options. We did go over these in another video. But just to go over that really briefly here, um, and if you do have multiple email accounts, you'll need to switch the drop-down menu here to the correct email account to modify those settings for that specific email address. Now, as you can see, if I hover over this email, I have different options. So this is mark as read, delete, and archive. You can control what those hover options do by just going into the options and then changing that in these two areas here. And then in addition, if I was using a touch, um, a touch screen, I would be able to swipe this left or right to get to those same options. Now in addition, you do have the option to use a signature, so you can set that up. You can set up automatic replies, perhaps if you're going to be out of town for a time. You can control whether notifications come in or not. And then you have other types of digital signatures and certificates listed here. Now let's talk a little bit more about the calendar application. So if we go ahead and press calendar, and I do want to mention that all of your accounts are automatically synced between mail and calendar, even though they are two separate applications. So if I press this here, it's actually opening up calendar as a separate app. Now I have different um, calendars that I can see in here. I have my Outlook and iCloud calendars. And of course, you can add additional ones as well in the accounts view of your settings here. Creating an appointment is very simple. You just go ahead and click on the day you want the appointment to be set up for. And again, we did go over this in detail in another video that shows you how to work with this specific application. Now, People is not part of the Outlook mail and calendar apps like it was in Windows 8.1, but it is its own separate app and gets its own separate app updates from the Windows Store. However, let's just take a really quick look at that. All right, so again, this is an area where we have taken an in-depth look at the mail app and using it to manage your contacts. But just to give you a little overview of what shows up here, you have a nice jump list that takes you in between the different letters, so that helps you to find people. And then just to show you in settings some things that you can manage, if you want to have your contacts sorted by last name and first name here, you have that option. And uh, you can then display names in either order as well. Now, too, even though this is a separate application from Outlook Calendar and Outlook Mail, the accounts that you set up here are synced uh, automatically.
So um, if you create a new email account and then link it up to the mail application, for example, that account will show up here and it will begin to sync all of your contacts. You can, however, change those settings. So if you wanna come in here and choose not to sync contacts, um, that is an option that you have. So you can turn that off there. You can also turn off email or calendar syncing depending on what you want to do.